all right all right what's going on everybody db4 here and welcome back to the channel we are here we yet another glorious episode let's get it oh man if you're interested in playing this game we got some information down in the description box below as well as our social media contact information and as always salute to the subscribers you are the goats and everybody watching this video back I appreciate you for being here with us today. Now let's get right down to some gameplay. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Back. Tactics Ogre Reborn. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Tactics Ogre. Yeah, we are back. We are back at the gates. Let's go. Oh, man, this game is amazing. We had a ball on the last episode. If you guys are the first time joining us today, welcome. I appreciate all the support. And salute to the subscribers, man. I got to give another salute to the subscribers as always, man. Now, if you joined us on the last episode, that was basically the intro episode. There was a lot of tutorial aspects and things of that nature. There's going to be a little more of that in this episode, so we're just going to try to get through as much as possible and just let the story play out. Now, with these type of games, they are heavily battle-focused with the strategy element and the tactical element, but these storylines are beautiful, and I really appreciate the developers for making this game voice-acted. So far, it's almost like 98% voice-acted, and that's just strikingly amazing. So yeah, I'm, let's continue. Now, we are currently level 3. We can actually check our party out real quick. We actually went up a level. We're currently level two. And these guys are level three. So I think hopefully we'll go up another level this turn. Yeah, our main three characters are level two. Now, I found out a few things off camera. I did a little bit of playing so I can just get a better handle of the game. So I don't be sitting here fumbling around with the majority of the time. So I got a way better handle of what's going on. Now, if you see that little guest icon above somebody's name and level, that means they're going to control their self, basically. That's a little tidbit that we did not learn in the last episode. See, I'm going to be giving little clues and hints about things I learned. So, it'll help streamline things a lot. I don't think there's anything we have to do. I don't think there's anything we really can do. So, let's head straight to the next part. A fine time for this, with Master Nybeth away. Listen well. We face the rogues who slew Bapal and his men. Underestimate them and share Bapal's fate. Give these rebel swine a taste of Galgastani steel. Almorica shall never fall. Vanquish Agaris. To battle, men. All right, it's time to vanquish Agaris. Spark Spear. Ninety-three with his arrow. That guy's pretty strong. All right, now it's my turn to move. All right, we're just going to move forward. Interlopers, why do you meddle in our affairs? Our struggle with the Wallister goes back generations. It's no concern of yours. Or do you seek to claim Valeria as Lotus does? I will have your answer. We are men without a country. We have lent them our swords because it suits us to do so. And we're looking for mercenary work as it happens. Not hiring by any chance. And worry you'll leave for a bigger purse? We don't need outsiders to do our killing. 
He makes a good point. Let's rescue this duke, collect our reward, and be done with it. A craven who would choose lucre over loyalty deserves only one reward! Lightning bow. Now, something else that's very important. These loot bags that just dropped, like these bags right here, you have to pick these up before the match is over or you won't get what's inside the bag. And there's another item that drops or appears on the field where you want to pick that up as well. Now, these squares also has a random chance of spawning treasures when you when you end your turn on it, and you'll get that as well. So all sorts of things can happen when you end your turn. But for now, let us attack somebody who's weakened, if we could. Attack with our short sword. Let's go, counter, let's go. Ah, right, missed. Yeah, there's a percentage chance that a, a attack is gonna miss or the person's gonna parry, block. And there's a damage, there's a damage roll too. Alright, we might be able to get to finish somebody off here. Alright, they're not damaged today. Probably not finish him off, but we can attack. Ah, he's gonna finish him off. Yes! Good, he grabbed the loot, yes. Copper, 20 copper, that's super dope. I like that passive abilities that knights have that makes it so you can basically stop somebody from moving when you walk in front of them. Good, they picking up all the loot too. Good stuff. We're going to need all of that stuff. Good block, good block. Alright, um. I can get in somebody's face, or should I snatch loot? I really be considering, like, going for loot. Cause they're gonna get the attacks no matter what. I don't wanna leave any loot behind. And you can always toss stones. Yeah, another buckler. That buckler does 100 damage too. Yeah, while they go for the kills, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to scoop up all the loot that I can. Good heels, good heels. Short bow, good stuff. Oh, alright. Counter, good counter, good counter. 
Yeah, stop that guy from moving. Good heals, good heals. Meditate. Fire. Now, these spells are dangerous. They are, like, the really directional. You can't really launch a spell over somebody's head or through somebody. You have to have a clear line of sight to the person that you're launching the spell at. And that's very good, in a way. Or very unique. I like that. Um, we won't be able to get the, the bag, so let's just go attack this guy. You could have stepped on that bag. My life for Galgastan. Oh, we didn't get the last two bags, man. Ah, oh, we got a dead shot. Bronze, a knight's mark, more bronze coins, and two blessing stones. Good stuff. All good stuff. 200 XP. Yeah, level 3. We at the level cap. Let's go. Skills and finishing moves. Did we learn any? Yeah, we got two skills. Let's go. Ah, the taste of freedom is sweet. You have my thanks. Sweeter still that Wallace Day youths came to my aid. Denim was it? Doubtless you and your friends are a gift from the great father himself. The Wallister boon is great and our future bright. We are not alone in our loyalty. Upon word of your grace's release, many Wallister have left their haunts for our Morica. And there is still time before the Galgastani come to remedy my freedom. Though not long, I fear. We must regroup. Now, I must ask if the tale our guests have told us is indeed the truth. Upon my sword it is. We are outcasts from our land. I do not doubt your sword. It is the whiskers of your companion that give me pause. I hear a diviner matching his description was ever at the side of King Tristan when your new Zenobia came into being two years past. And that you, Sir Lancelot, were captain of the Holy Knights. Is the Saint King so brazen as to cast out the very men who placed him upon the throne? I, too, have heard tell of this, Diviner, but I am not he. Lodis plagues us with the Dark Knights, Lost Lorian. Interesting. How do we know that you are not some new menace visited upon Valeria? If new Zenobia does not seek to usurp, I would have your proof. Your Grace. These holy knights risked their own lives to win your freedom. A man can claim knighthood only when he serves a worthy lord. It is for such a man that we seek. I have your word then, and its proof shall be in your deeds. You sought a reward, you shall have it, and employment besides. I would have you train our Wallister loyals as guards and soldiers here in Almorica. As you wish. Now, Denim, your father was an Abuna in Goliath, was he not? I met him myself once. A wise man, Abuna Prancet. What happened in Goliath was a tragedy. Please, Your Grace, you must avenge our father. No, all the people of Goliath. Yet the enemy before us is Galgastan. They must come first. And for that, I will need knights. Knights such as yourselves. Will you Let's join go. my table at Almorica? Us? Uh, knights? As young heroes of Wallister, you will serve as a shining example to your clansmen. 
I would have you become knights in my direct service. Well, what say you? Of course. I mean, as you wish, your grace. I know Denim's with me on this. Excellent. Now, if you are to be a knightly order, you will require a name. Okay, we got to put the, the, the name of the Order of Knights. All right. What are we going to be? Okay. Let's be something. Oh, Storm Scale. Huh. 12 characters. Well, let's start with. All right, Storm Scale is not going to be the name. It's going to be the Order of DB4. Um, the DB4 Legion? Nah. We're going to go with... Oh, I know which one we're going to go with. All right, there we have it. The Order of Lord DB4. There we go. The Order of Lord DB4 or DB4 Law? I like DB4 Law. All right, there we go. The Order of DB4 Law. Yeah. Except. Yep. Ah, we're going to be the order of DB4 lore. Yep. What do you think? Yes. A fine name. You'll go far, I'm certain. I have much for you to do. Your first task takes you to the town of Chrysara, to the southwest. The captain of my knights, Sir Leonar, has gone there in pursuit of the former overseer of this castle, a necromancer named Nybeth. Truth be told, He's having a harder time of it than was expected. You'll be going to Chrysaro to aid him. Understood? Now before you leave, you'll want to fill your ranks with soldiers from Almorica and purchase such gear as you'll require. I expect you have little in way of coin, so I'm giving you 30,000 goth from the treasury and a few of my own knights to serve under you. You can count on us, your grace. Let's we go. Won't let you down. Then may victory and glory await you, young heroes of Wallister. Let's go. 30 G's in some nights. You've led us to gainful employ after all. My thanks. No, it is I who should thank you. So, you're off to aid one of the Duke's men. I regret we cannot join you. Above all else, stay alive. Win or lose, while there's life, there's hope. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. Best not forget, the dead get no second chances. If death were our aim, there are swifter ways to go about it than soldiering. We fight to live. True enough. Still, do not needlessly seek out danger. Enough will find you as it is. Of course. All right, look at these dudes. We got them on our squad to train. You not? 
I must thank you for saving His Grace the Duke. Indeed, accept my thanks on behalf of us all. And you are? Ravnus Luxarian, a knight in service of the Duke. I would ride to Leonar's aid myself, but His Grace has other need of me. I fear the task falls to you. <laughs> no need of fear, friend. We took back this castle, didn't we? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. And what manner would that be? She and her fellow knights drew off the garrison defending the castle. Else, we would not have succeeded. Hmm. If it were not for the sacrifice of others, we would be no heroes of Goliath now. Make no mistake. I have high hopes for you. We must unite the people behind us if we are to put an end to this endless war. Word of your heroics emboldens them. Then you hold us up as heroes to serve some stratagem, is that it? If you do not like it, give truth to the lie. Write your own fate on the battlefield. Hmm, interesting. May fate smile on us both, Dame Ravnus. His Grace provided you with war funds, yes? Remember, they do no good sitting in your coffers. Arms, spells, provisions. Even a single magic ring can mean the difference between victory and defeat. All right, she that's some good advice. Herself. I pray we are not near when she falls from such height. Okay. All right, Adeline. Adeline. All right, wants to join your party. Recruit. All right, we got Adeline, a warrior, a earth warrior. Let's go, level three. Wadard. 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 What up, Wadard? We got a, a lightning archer. Level three, Wadard. Welcome, Wadard. Welcome to the allegiance of the DB4 Lord. Catelyn. It's Caitlyn. <laughs> I said Catelyn. It's Caitlyn. All right, Caitlyn. Welcome to the party. She is an ice mage. All right. Oh, actually an ench enchantress. An uh, ice enchantress. Welcome to the party, Catelyn. All right. Riddle. Rydell. Uh, I'm going to call you Riddle. He looked like the Riddler. Anyway, he looked like the Riddler. What up, Rydell? We got a cleric. All right, good stuff. He's going to be our healer. He looks dope. Look at his, look at his pompadour. Not pompadour. Look at his... Uh, Man, the the hat. Oh, man, I was about to say a derby. That's not a derby. Well, look at his cool hat with the jacket. Pretty dope. Welcome. Welcome, Rydell. Or Riddle. Fried Swide? Freed Sweet? Oh, my God. Freed Sweet, Fried Swide. Oh, man. Fried Swide. We're going to call you Swide. What up, Swad? She's a Valkyrie. Oh, so she's a Valkyrie. She has skills in swords and spears, and she's a water Valkyrie. Pretty dope. She comes fully equipped with spears and everything. Welcome to the party. Towns and castles that have been liberated gain the shop in the train command. At shops, you can buy and sell items in Arcana. Recruit new units and sell monsters at auctions. It's a good idea to stock up on consumables to use in battles, such as items that restore HP. Okay. All right. All right. The train training allows you allows your units to take part in a training battle. You can retreat from the training battle at any time, either in the battle or while forming your party. Units in contact incapacitated and removed from a training battle are not removed from your party. Training battles are a good way to level up your units before taking them into real battle. Units earn experience points in training battles, but items do not drop. 
New commands have been added to the party screen like dismiss. Dismiss allows you to remove a unit that you no longer need from your party. Once dismissed, the unit is gone forever. So consider your decisions carefully. Change class allows you to change your unit to a different class. Changing class requires a class mark. Finishing moves allows you to review and assign finishing moves to a unit. The finishing moves available to a unit depend on their weapon skills. Refer to player guide in the Warren report for more details. All right, now that's dope. Now that's a lot to take in, but I pretty much got the gist of what's going on here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go spend some cash. Let's go. We're gonna actually go into the shop and make our party a little bit more diverse and just a little bit, just a little bit better. We have two water types, two earth types, two uh, wind types. That's wind, right? Yeah. One ice type, one lightning type. We missing fire. So we're going to go purchase some fire soldiers. First things first, let's go into the shop. Welcome. Now, as soon as we come into the shop, we can just sell all of this, all of the copper and bronze we have on us. Let's just sell all that stuff. Another 6,200. Real good. Now, the first thing I want to do is go hire some people before we do any purchasing. Now, this tells us what we have. We have two warriors. We have one archer, male archer, and this is a female archer. And we have no wizards, but the female wizard class is the enchantress. I'm not sure about the difference in the male and female. Is it just a name or is it actually a difference? Now we have male and female clerics. So you both say cleric and then same thing with this class the rune fencer that's the male class and the valkyrie is the female version of this class the warriors are the same female warriors male warriors archers now i'm not sure why they do this with the wizard and enchantress and with the rune forcer and valkyrie but what we're going to do we're going to purchase another rune forcer for 2000 and we're going to go neutral alignment and we're going to make him a flame valkyrie the goddess of fire just give the word. Yeah. Now we're going to hire somebody else. We're going to actually hire a normal wizard. Uh, we're going to make him neutral as well. Neutral as well. And we're also going to have him be you sure? fire. Done and done. Now that's it. Very that's all well. we're going to do for now. Let's view the party. Let's see. That's pretty good. I'm comfortable with that. We're going to get more. Um, we're going to get another lightning and another another archer and another um, cleric soon. And we're going to have them be these types. Now we're going to go into partying up, leveling up, um, getting equipment on our party. The classes that don't have equipment is the Valkyrie. We should have more than enough stuff to put on this person. Perfect. Now we don't, we might not, oh, we do got to circle it for the mage. Excellent. In a row. Leather gloves and some linen slops. Let's go. Oh. I'm actually looking for, oh, we don't have an extra staff. That's cool. What about a sword? Yeah, we got a short sword. Now the Valkyrie can do short bows short swords and things like that we're going to go with short sword and buckler short sword and buckler for the valkyrie pretty good now as far as the items and the spells and stuff like that we're going to do that in a minute not yet but skills we're going to give him swords and i think hammers for now just in case we get into some hammers now he's pretty good the wizard is going to have the skills of cultures and daggers. Everybody else is set. All right, now I'm not sure I'm gonna I'm gonna change my class actually. I'm gonna 
turn myself into a knight. That's a class that we can't purchase at the moment. And we already have two warriors. So let me be a knight right now. There we go, I'm a knight. Now I do have skills as a knight. I can actually wield axes too. I'll go with one a hand axe. For now, and we'll go axes. Rampart aura, that's what I'm looking for in pincer attack. So we'll do pincer attack and rampart aura. That's to lock people in place. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, as far as spells. All right, we can actually get a hill. That's, that's pretty important there. So we're gonna go purchase a hill as well. All right, now we're going to go do some, go on a shopping spree real quick. For our Valkyrie, our mage, and for me as well. Let's go to the shop, back to the shop. And now we're going to go buy. I would buy a broadsword or a hammer, but we need a staff. That's for sure. We also want to get some defensive rings and offensive rings. I just don't know how many we need just yet. I'll start with two of each. Two warrior rings, two defender rings. Now, this is something important I want to do. We're going to get instill fire for our Valkyrie. Um, and still water for our other Valkyrie. We're going to get Fire Spark Spear for our Valkyrie. We're going to get... We're going to get Hill for me. We're going to get a Spark Spear for our Mage. And we want our Mage to have other abilities as well. But we're going to purchase a few of these down here. Like... I think we'll do One Word of Pain... And I'll do Spirit Surge. And that's it for now. Let's actually go view our party. We can view our party from here. Now, I'm, the spell I'm going to give me is going to be Heal. I'm going to purchase more Heal spells, actually. I forgot to do that. I should have done that. Now, he's going to actually get a skill. He's going to get Pincer Attack along with Mighty Impact. And I could actually train some other weapons with him, but I'm not because he's already two-handed. He can't use any spells right now. Same thing with her. She's going to end up getting Spirit Surge. She has axes already, so she's going to get Power Attack and Pincer Attack. He's going to get the power bow. Concentration. As far as spells. Also going to get. Ice. He's going to get death deadbolt. This is the Valkyrie. And still water. Instill Flame. This is going to be his Earth Lance. Deadshot. He's going to get a bunch of different spells. Like that. A variety. A good variety. Wind, Earth, and Water. And, and Fire. Um, This guy has to get a Fire spell. Now let's I want to see what I'm missing real quick. I 
All right, we're missing some hill spells. The Valkyrie can use a hill and she can use a water. Okay. Let's go buy it. Let's get an Aqua Blast for our Valkyrie. Let's get uh, two more. One more hill spell and we'll get Poison Cloud for sure. Sleep for sure. Charm for sure. At least one of each of those. Now let's go back to our list. Let's give the Valkyrie the water spell. And the Valkyrie can also get a heal spell, by the way. So she's also, her last thing is going to be a heal. Both Valkyries can get heal spells, FYI. And he can't get a heal spell, but he can get Poison Cloud, though. And we'll have our Enchantress end up with Sleep, Stun, and that's it. Sleep and Stun. We can go with Charm, too, but I'm not going to use Charm just yet. Even though I just bought it. I don't think I'm going to use it just yet. Alright, now let's go get another heal spell real quick. All right, now the last thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go to our mage. And I'm going to take away, I'm going to give Poison Cloud and Sleep to him. And I'm going to give Charm to the Enchantress. The Enchantress is going to have all of the debuff stuff. Because I want to be able to give our Valkyrie an extra spell like Word of Pain. And there we go. The Valkyrie can actually cast a multitude of spells as well. Now all of the spells are being used. Everybody has all of the spell slots used up. All of this is good stuff. We can't equip none of this other stuff. All right, cool. Going back to swords. Now, as far as now, let's do some items. Everybody should have one of these. He's missing one. Well, let's go to this item then. He should definitely have that. The enchantress should. Well, no, the Enchantress should definitely have that. The Cleric, for sure. Alright, now let's go buy some more consumables. Wait, hold on. We didn't give him his staff. All right, now let's put the offensive and defensive rings on. This is going to give him a warrior's ring. Warrior's ring. And the two Valkyries are going to get the defender's ring. There we go. Now everybody's fully equipped. Only thing we're missing is a few consumables. Let's go get that.
you want to buy a bunch of those to start it off and you're going to get two extra blessing stones that's it for now that's a mistake all right you should have a blessing stone in you should have a blessing stone for sure. Now the warriors. Everybody should have this. All right, all right. We're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.